Hey, what's going on everyone? Justin again, as always, thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. So today was Snap on Wednesday. I did have a little pick me up. I had to buy basically the matching set for the metric set. So y'all know that I bought the metric Allen set and the super short, right? Well, turns out with my ARP head studs that they were SAE. Uh, it's been a while since I did one, so I kind of forgot about that. So now we have the metric and the SAE short Allen's. Kind of nice that they just kind of magnetize to your card in it. All right, speaking of which, I have been utilizing the gear wrench socket set, and I was able to figure out how to reorganize the rest of my sockets to get full use out of them. I have been using the uh, six point combination wrench. To my surprise, I actually kind of like them. Wasn't sure that I was gonna like them, haven't really ran into a situation yet where I needed that extra six teeth like we talked about because 12 points all that I've known. Um, but let's go ahead and dive on into the socket topic. What kinds of sockets are you going to run into or need as a mechanic coming up after our intro? If you don't like it, skip it. 55 seconds, go. What's going on everyone? Justin again, as always, thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. So we're back here in the garage with tonight's discussion topic. Cheers, Mr. Judo Sailor. We went back and forth with a couple of questions in the last video. And I was asking him uh, which one he would like best, uh, ratchets or screwdrivers as a potential giveaway for next month. Uh, might not have made that 100% clear, but you know what? I like where he was going with this. He said, uh, if you mean for the next video topic, I'd say sockets. As a DIY, I'm currently expanding my tool set. I feel like I have a pretty good grasp on ratchets. But there are so many different uh, socket types with all different types of applications. I'd love to learn more a little bit about that. If you mean for a giveaway, uh, screwdrivers would be his choice because... Uh, all he has now is an ancient craftsman set that's only in six pieces. So for Judo Sailor, I think we're going to go ahead and hook you up with a fresh set of screwdrivers, my man. Make sure to try to reach out to me and get a hold of me through Instagram. You can do so by going to the homepage. Instagram link is in the top corner. Go ahead and send me a message. We'll get in contact with one another. We'll talk about this screwdriver set a little bit more. But to go into his question a little bit. So briefly discussing all the different types of sockets or different socket styles that are out there I thought what a great topic for this evening especially considering that I just picked up those short nubby SAE Allens specifically for the ARP head stud install so when I had picked up the metric Allen set with a little stubby on it I had a couple of situations I could have used them in and one of them I was thinking about ahead of time which was the ARP uh, head studs well Turns out they were SAE, so I ended up borrowing one of Shane's. I'll try to throw a little picture down here. That was a Silver Eagle, and it was in quarter inch, which I thought was awesome. Worked out well for me, but I wanted to get my own, so I picked some up. So what a great question and a segue leading up to tonight's topic. You're right, Judo Sailor. There are tons, tons and tons and tons of sockets out there. I'm going to showcase and kind of walk you through a few of them here this evening. So first thing, got to have some kind of mechanic set to start off with. I think everyone can agree with that. You get some kind of mechanic set. You can usually get it in six points. Sometimes it'll throw some 12 point in there or it'll be all six point. You might have to get some 12 point later. Now the question is, do you get 12 point and just the chrome or do you get 12 point and impact? Are you using an impact gun more with a 12 point? Then if so, you might consider and get the 12 point in the impact form. 
you're using a 12 point more in the chrome form, uh, then you can go that way too. There's a lot of different fasteners out there, not just flex plates or flywheels, but also uh, coming down to some of the late 80s, like we had that Pontiac Fiero, right, where the intake required a 12 point. A little tiny 12 point fastener is holding that sucker down. So you're gonna run into situations where 12 points are going to exist and you are gonna need them. Allen keys, Allen socket keys specifically, not just the L-shaped Allen keys, but Allen sockets, 3 8 drive, half inch. My boss has a whole rack of half inch. You're gonna use those. In fact, there are fasteners on the six liter that I have to torque down using like a, what was it, a 12 or 14 Allen, okay? So you're gonna use those too. Extraction style sockets, so I got these little quarter inch uh, with a rounded fastener, you can use these kind of like an extractor. So if it's so rounded, that, but you could still get a bite on it, that's what these are designed for. It's almost like a, uh, an e-spline drive, if you will. We picked these up from Matco. I think they're made by ADV. Uh, but at any rate, they've been a phenomenal socket. How about impact for e-torques? Okay, we're talking about e-spline. How about e-torques? So I have e-torques and not only the impact, but I also have them in chrome. Moving on over to specialty sockets, you're going to run into situations where you need a spline drive. BMW, I've seen this on BMW for like the back of their flywheels and stuff where it requires a spline drive. Spline drive sockets do come in handy. You're going to run into triple squares, okay? Can't tell you how many different European models between Volkswagen, Audi, Mercedes, etc. that you're going to require a triple square. Triple squares do come in handy, not just in the long ones that I have, but even short ones. And sometimes you need ones that are even longer, so you gotta buy an even specialty, specialty triple square, which I have one of those too. Also, what category do you really put crow's feet? Do you put it in your wrench drawer? Do you put it in your socket drawer? These are 3 8 drive. You do put an extension on them, you can use these to get down in some tricky situations to crack fasteners or lines loose. But what drawer do you really put them in at that point, right? Because you're still talking about a drive setting. I put mine in the wrench drawer, you do with you, you do it with you'd like with yours. But that just leads us into the bigger sockets now, right? So now we get rid of a lot of the smaller stuff and now we're going into the weird stuff. But how about our oversized sockets for like our diesel guys or the guys that are working on water trucks? We have water trucks and RVs that come in from time to time that we have to work on. Whether it's servicing them or Shane's doing the front brakes or me and Shane are together or yanking a transmission out of one of these RVs or working on a forklift to do a quick little service and swap small things out. We've got side-by-sides that come in tractors there's so many different weird things out there that require you to have different sockets outside of short allens you're going to have long allens outside of short torque spits you're going to have long torque spits outside of tamper torques you're going to have regular torques right and on and on and on the manufacturers know no bounds and it just kind of helps the tool manufacturers create new products which then just has the mechanic buying more tools that he did not necessarily want to. Or maybe they did, maybe it's like a collect them all Pokemon kind of thing, I don't know. <laughs> if you're just strictly doing this DIY style at home, my biggest suggestion or recommendation to you would be start off with your master mechanic set, whomever you get it from, whether you choose to go with that cobalt set we first shared, the craftsman set, the gear wrench set, that job smart set that I had made mention of in an earlier video, that seemed pretty legit with less gimmicky items. I um, think we're going to be looking at some other sets here upcoming in the future just to see if any of these other companies, Husky, uh, Tacked In, or even uh, WorkPro have developed mechanic sets. I'm curious to see uh, what all comes in them and if it's an overall good deal for the value. Like, is the value there? Is it, is it the best bang for your buck kind of thing? Before we wrap it up, I just want to tell you guys that so far, so good. I've, I really have been enjoying the new gear wrench mechanic set. That thing has been freaking on point. My boss loves it. My, the biggest part that my boss loves is that, cause see I had everything just kind of randomly flipped over and in these magnetic holders, which I grew accustomed to using, but he loves it cause he said numbers work for me. He loves being able to walk over and see everything laid out, you know, SAE or metrics. So you just walk up and grab one. And since because of the, the tray style, and I didn't want to have to go through and pull everything out and try to reorganize, I literally just took the other stuff out, threw it in a bag, took the trays out and laid them in it. And 
He loves it, man. He loves it, just being able to walk up. And it's actually, those trays are actually pretty handy. I didn't know how well organized this toolbox is gonna come out with utilizing those. But for the top, not only can I fit both racks, the quarter inch and the three eighths in there, but I could fit, fit my half inch rack of Tecton sockets behind it on a Husky rail, magnetic rail that I picked up uh, from Home Depot. And then to the left of that, I have my snap on three eighths uh, deep and shallow impact rated right in their little magnetic deal and then all my ratchets just kind of fit in between so it's worked out great as far as organization i wasn't sure how i was going to tie it all in but it has worked the only thing that i have the only thing that i wish that might have been done a little differently wouldn't have been, it would have been really cool if they would have made the top tray like Okay, forget the fact that it's yellow, but let's say if they would have done the top trace, so when you open the lid, you know, you boom, you got the half inch socket stuff right there with the ratchet extension. Would have just been the cherry on top if they would have made that removable too. Because I don't want to drill out the little tiny uh, rivets that they use to secure the top latch to the sides and then destroy the box. Because if one day I decide that I want to turn this into a little mobile mechanic set, I still have the option of doing so, so long as they made it available to where I can lift it out and there's still like a little tray-like feature in there, right? Wouldn't that have been cool? Or if you're working on the ground in front of your house or garage, to have all your socket trays, boom, 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 laid out, and then, but now on top, you have a little tiny trough that you can use to toss in some fasteners for whatever little tiny thing that you're trying to do there in front of your driveway. Other than that though, phenomenal set, been absolutely loving it. All right, so what I'm gonna do for you guys is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the Amazon affiliate links down below in the description for you. It should cover about three quarters of the different styles of specialty sockets and sockets that we discussed here today, as well as the mechanic set that I recently picked up uh, from GearWrench, which ran about 250 bucks. Like I said, I'm getting a lot of enjoyment out of it. I think it's a really good set. Some of these other specialty sockets that you might run into as DIYers, uh, I would think more common than not are going to be like your universals or your mid-length sockets, so I'll put those down there for you. If I can find any kind of fastener extractor set that I think you guys could benefit from, I'll be sure to do the same exact thing. Guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's content. Smash a thumbs up if you like the video. Share if you want to share. We'll see you guys next time. Judo Sailor, cheers and deuces.